always worse. That first short sleep is always worse than when you don't sleep because you, your body goes to relax mode and you wake up and you feel worse than before you went to bed. So, but uh, the leg was awesome. It was really cool. Uh, did a bit of a good option and and two times I like at the beginning I, I got a, a really good start. Got out of the bay, in tense place, and then I I don't know. I had a bit of a struggle in. Uh, not really, actually not really sure what happened exactly, but I ended up from 10th to like 30th, so I was like, what, what's this happening? It's not happening. So it was the first night, so I just worked my way, my way back up the whole night. And I, in the morning, I was back with a group of the 10, 12 people, which is really good. I was uh, working quite hard to go, just stay up with the group, all the pressure. It was, it was good pressure, but it was still a little light and puffy and shifty, so I was always staying up to just get the puff before them and so I wasn't going to sort of drop into the wood and losing and then uh, we got to the north coast of Spain and I was like we started tacking along the shore and to me it didn't really make much sense because we needed to go north and the reason why people were trying to go right is because we were waiting for a big right shift um, later on a day after so they wanted to be right but the thing is the weather file at that stage been already half a day wasn't wasn't really matching in wind direction what we were seeing on the water and so I was like yeah great but the file don't really seem to be to be okay so I was like I'm gonna um, I wanted to go north I wanted to tack out of the shoreline and started making my way north but it's always hard to take that decision in a one design fleet because we we all the same boat so if it's 10 degrees or something or if something like I don't know it's like the pressure you, you can lose a lot really quickly and uh, but I still I still was tacking on shore and going this is ridiculous it doesn't make sense it's slow it was sluggish it was sticky it wasn't going fast and, and there was some swell coming in and it was there was massive clouds above the land so you and we were also expecting a massive patch of light breeze like sort of between the shoreline of Spain to maybe 10 miles offshore so I didn't want it to be near the coast in the evening at all like even from my plan before the wind was a bit different. So I was like, I don't want to be there. And I was like, why <laughs> all the other boats want to be there? And then I saw Thierry Chabani started taking north. And I was like, that's it, I'm going. Because it's been too long since I've been wanting to do it. So went with them. Um, it's always a bit scary because you're like, you're going to lose the others on the S, you're going to lose the other, and you might just end up coming out of this 20 miles behind you. But I was like, I'm on rum line. I've got good pressure. Uh, I was keeping an eye on the ridge, uh, the high pressure ridge that we were waiting to make sure I wasn't going too far close to it. And so we have updates uh, twice a day, in the morning and in the evening. So I was plotting the position of that ridge every day on Adrena to follow how it was evolving. And I also get uh, iso pressure, isobaric charts on board. So I was keeping an eye on how that was changing compared to the one I had before the start. And so it all seemed good. And I was like, no, that's, that's good progress. Um, what I did is I try to go not too extreme left I try to do a one tack when the wind permitted with the right shift do a tack back to be sort of in the position between the two so you if you were losing because your option wasn't so good you would not lose that much um, but turn out the option was a really good one uh, we were first and second for a day and a half and then we got joined by another guy that sort of started going south and then Bela and came with us Pierre and so it was really good and uh, we knew we were gonna come into the light pressure before the rest of the people uh, and the, the option was a really, really good one. And Pierre ended up uh, being second in the regatta overall of the leg. But for me, when we, I was ahead of Pierre, and when we came out under light pressure, um, we were probably maybe a mile and a half like that. And then it was a mile lateral, maybe or less than a mile, like maybe 0.8 of a mile lateral separation. And he got all the pressure before me. I didn't seem to have such good pressure to lose. It. And I, I looked at tacking out in the morning. But then you end up straight behind him, so you're like you'll be like a mile behind him, oh, yeah. which is hard to catch up. starting joining in and the tack out would have been meaning you ended up 25th so I kept on um, the line I was going and uh, Pierre came out three miles in front of me uh, which was quite a lot and it was the way it is but I, I think I came out 
of things overall. So, had I made that work, they like pressure, I would have come out with them second and third, and uh, that would have been amazing. So, almost there, almost next time. <laughs> No, yeah, but the leg was really nice. Uh, the first two legs was a bit hard, like it didn't really. It was the floor wasn't there. It was everything was hard on board. Everything was sort of not fluid and just I was struggling a bit. Not all the time, but it's some uh, like especially the, the first day of each leg. And uh, but this one felt right, right from the beginning. I had a really good start. I just felt in in it, and no, it was it was awesome. It was nice to get those sensations back and get back on where level I want to be sailing at.